Six NATO nations have agreed to build a drone wall along their borders to defend themselves against Russian threats. Here's a summary of the article. Six NATO nations have agreed to build a drone wall along their borders to defend themselves against Russian threats. Norway, Poland and Finland will work with the three Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, to prevent Russian aggression, including forcing migrants across the border. This is a completely new thing. A drone border from Norway to Poland, Anja Bailotite, Lithuania's interior minister, told broadcaster Baltic News Service. In anticipation, Poland has spent billions upgrading its border defenses with Belarus. Estonia has built a network of frontier army bunkers and Finland, which shares an 830-mile border with Russia, has joined NATO. Last year, Finland was forced to close its border crossings with Russia after the Kremlin flew in migrants from Asia and sent them over the border on bicycles. On Thursday, Estonia reported that Russian border guards had removed buoys marking navigable channels in Estonian waters in the Narva River, a border with Russia. A day earlier, Russia had published a draft proposal unilaterally expanding its maritime borders with Finland and Lithuania. This post received a score of 5,300, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Congratulations Putin. You make NATO stronger by proving they need to defend themselves from Russian aggression still. And Russia, Putin will tell its citizens that this is proof that NATO is an aggressive enemy. Cause, if they weren't then why would they need put up military equipment along the border? Gotta love propaganda. I predict they're just trying to drag things out till past the US election to do some really egregious shit. Ukraine not being a part of NATO, would the US under Trump respond to a small tactical nuke in Ukraine? If not the US, which NATO countries would? Or maybe something less drastic like major UPTICK in chemical weapons like they did in Chechnya 20 years ago. I sincerely hope that, should Trump manages to steal the election, then some other power will step in to fill the gaping void left by the US being rendered absolutely and utterly impotent by having a commander-in-chief with the IQ of a moldy peanut. Maybe Poland. They seem to be gearing up to deliver an ass-kicking. The relevant authority here would be France, who are the ones with the credible nuclear umbrella to offer the EU. The issue is that speed really matters in cases like this, the Baltics are keenly aware that if they get invaded, despite being part of NATO, and Article 5 doesn't trigger immediately then there's a real risk that Russia seizes a bunch of territory and dares the rest of NATO to come and take it back, and then the NATO public and politicians don't commit. It's why they're rolling out the red carpet to get NATO bases and foreign troops on their soil as quickly as possible. Totally a good point. In anticipation, Poland has spent billions upgrading its border defenses with Belarus. Estonia has built a network of frontier army bunkers and Finland, which shares an 830-mile border with Russia, has joined NATO. Asian migrants on bicycles last year. Finland was forced to close its border crossings with Russia after the Kremlin flew in migrants from Asia and sent them over the border on bicycles. On Thursday, Estonia reported that Russian border guards had removed buoys marking navigable channels in Estonian waters in the Narva River, a border with Russia. A day earlier, Russia had published a draft proposal unilaterally expanding its maritime borders with Finland and Lithuania. One reason I suspect they are doing this is that with whatever Putin has been up to recently with Africa, like the recent change of leadership in one country, Niger maybe I forget, from US to Russia, is that he plans on creating instability and grabbing a bunch to be used as migrants pushed into Europe. I wonder if that's what's the final straw here in finally taking an effort to combat, prevent this on that border. Interesting. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.